All right, so welcome to another video. This week I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different and I'm actually going to be reviewing an online class that I just finished. The class is Mixing Cinematic Music by Joel Dolier and MasterTheScore.com. Joel is a professional mixing and mastering engineer who is known for his work on trailer campaigns like Loki, Abominable, and The Chosen. He also has a YouTube channel and has done some awesome collaborations with other music YouTubers like Ryan Leach and Christopher Sue both of whom I also recommend checking out if you haven't already. So Master the Score claims that this is one of the most comprehensive online classes available for learning how to mix orchestral and cinematic music. And after finishing the class, I'd have to say that this is probably true. I've tried studying mixing on a lot of different online platforms. I've tried YouTube, Skillshare, Udemy, Evident, and even a couple classes with Berkeley Online. And while I did learn a lot from each of them, none of them contained the sheer volume of specialized information that I found in this class. This class takes a really deep dive into a practical approach for mixing, specifically into mixing orchestral and cinematic music. It even goes so far as to provide different approaches for working with sound libraries versus live musicians. The course itself is taught in four different modules. Module one is the fundamentals of mixing. This module covers the basics so that you end up with a reliable workflow when mixing cinematic music. The focus is on teaching you not only what to do, but why you do it so that you can make your own informed decisions while mixing. Module two focuses on how to equalize each individual instrument in a modern orchestra. And this was honestly my favorite part of the class. I've never had much luck finding a class or book before that gets as specific as this one. Joel really goes in depth on telling you when to boost or cut specific frequencies from an instrument's sound so that you can get precisely the kind of sound that you're looking for. Module three is about mixing sound design elements like synthesizers and sound effects. Now this module is about an hour long and it's spread across only two videos. In the first video, Joel breaks down a mix of some electronic music, and then in the second video, he breaks down some of the issues and solutions that may come up when you work on your own pieces. Now, personally, I would have preferred if these two videos had been broken up into a series of shorter ones, but that's just my opinion. While these videos were a bit longer when compared to the rest of the class, uh, I still found them pretty engaging and I learned a lot. Finally, Module 4 is dedicated to watching Joel's process as he mixes seven different pieces of cinematic music. These videos are effectively half of the class, and they're just about the most valuable part of the course in general. Each piece represents a different genre, and you get to watch Joel's process for mixing them across a series of multiple kind of short-ish videos per each piece. Since they're all in a different style, you get to see what kind of issues and obstacles are typical for each genre and how you can go about solving them. All right, so let's get into the pros and cons of this class. Right off the bat, this course goes way more in depth on EQ than any other course I've ever taken. And for me, that was my favorite part. I've been trying to study mixing on and off for a couple years now, and equalizing has always kind of been the bane of my existence. Most of the resources I've found have talked about how EQing is very important for getting a clear mix, but don't really go any deeper into it other than explaining how an EQ plugin works, and that's just been very frustrating for me. In this class, Joel kind of takes an encyclopedic approach that I really appreciate. He's got about like a two or three minute video for each instrument found in the orchestra, and he talks about the typical problem areas and different kind of sweet spots you can find using an EQ plugin and how to look out for when to use them. If I'm being honest, it was really that module that got me interested in this class in the first place. And I was really excited to see that it actually panned out and delivered what it had promised. However, I think the greatest strength of this class is actually the care and effort that was put into actually teaching the material. I've taken a lot of classes in the past where the teacher was a very talented musician, but they just weren't quite as talented at teaching, unfortunately. And that was something that stuck out to me right away when I first started this class, is that Joel and Master the Score seem to have spent a lot of time making sure that the material is well taught. The videos are super high quality. He has notes that pop up on the screen whenever he says something particularly important. And he even includes about 20 different charts and articles included as bonus material to help you better understand the course. 
While studying this course, I found that my personal favorite approach was to start each new topic by first checking the bonus materials. If there was an article or a chart or something involved, I would start by reading it, I'd study it, I'd take some notes, make some flashcards, and once I felt like I had a nice solid grasp of what was covered in the articles, then I would jump into the videos. For whatever reason, this just seemed to work well for me. Finally, one of the biggest pros behind this class I found was the community. When you sign up for the course, you get added to a Discord channel, where you can ask Joelle questions directly and bounce ideas off your classmates. As a moderator, Joelle typically responds pretty quickly, and he always seems happy to go in-depth on his explanations. From clarifying topics that came up during class to offering recommendations for plugins or hardware, Joelle is very active on the Discord channel and supremely helpful. There were even a couple bonus resources that he added to the class just because I asked, so that's a huge pro for me. Now, with all that being said, no honest review would be done if I didn't have some cons or some constructive feedback. And the first and probably most pertinent for those of you watching this video is that this isn't exactly what I would call a beginner's class. Going into the very first module, it's kind of assumed that you have at least some kind of working knowledge about typical mixing plugins and DAWs. If you are 100% new to either writing or mixing music on a computer, then this class probably isn't for you just yet. That being said, if you are comfortable with whatever DAW you happen to be using, and with using basic reverb compression and EQ plugins, then you should be golden. This class can definitely help you level up your mixing game. Another potential downside is that this is still a very, very new course and new platform. Master the Score has done a fantastic job with the course material, but they're still updating things based on feedback they get from the students. This isn't really a huge issue, but it does mean that there are a few rough edges that they're still working on smoothing out. Personally, I would love to see the bonus articles and resources integrated a bit more smoothly with their corresponding videos. As I mentioned earlier, I like to start new topics by reading the articles first and then watching the videos to help me better understand the things that I had learned. But that's just me. So all in all, this class is probably the most in-depth and complete course on orchestral mixing and mastering that I have ever found, especially for the price. I mean, I've taken out student loans for college classes that didn't teach me as much about mixing orchestral music as this course has. That being said, I would not recommend it to anyone who's just starting out. First, make sure that you feel comfortable with the DAW of your choice and that you know the basics of what reverb, compression, and EQ are used for. However, once you're comfortable with these topics, I cannot recommend this course enough. I also recommend that you check out Joel's YouTube channel, where he has a ton of amazing free content, so that you can make sure his teaching style is a good fit for you before committing to the class. I especially recommend the collaboration video he did with Ryan Leach, which I'll be including in the description of this video. So that wraps up the video. I hope you found it helpful. If so, please let me know what books, classes, videos, etc. you would like to see me review in the future. Next week we'll be getting back to the usual music theory and composition type videos. So until then, keep studying, keep working hard, and keep writing new music.